Hey everyone, Anissa here. I'm here with an affordable eyeshadow palette, which is this one, the Aphrodite palette. So if you love affordable makeup and affordable eyeshadow, please give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy this review today. So this palette was sent to me from Hush. Um, it is the Aphrodite palette by Bad Habit. And Hush is a shopping website and an app that has an array of makeup and skincare. They have tons of affordable makeup palettes, highlighters, shadows, you name it upwards into higher end brands so literally it's something for everyone which I absolutely love now this guy right here has been deemed as a dupe possibly for the Huda Beauty rose gold palette I unfortunately don't have that palette the real reason why is I did not feel like spending $65 I've seen it in person trust me it's really gorgeous but when I open it up, I'm going to show you that this is just a ton of nice warmer shades. And I feel like I have a ton of warm palettes. So just to find a high-end one, not so much. However, a $10 palette, you know, you really can't beat it. And even though I was sent this one for free, I was still planning on purchasing it. <laughs> and I just happened to get it. So it was a pleasant surprise. I'm just going to, yeah. Thanks, Hush. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, this has warmer shades. It has everything from foils to satins to mattes and a really nice even distribution of all of them um, for those finishes. The foils, when I saw this one, adore. That one jumped out at me and so did Sparks because those were like two colors that drew me in for the Huda Beauty one. And today we're going to review this palette. Um, we're going to actually see it being applied on my lid because I'm rocking it right now. So you can see the application and see about blendability, color payoff, the whole nine yards that really to me determines if the palette is worth any coin at all. So let's jump into some specs of the palette. This is it here. It's a reinforced card board um, with a magnetic closure. It does have a mirror and then also it is pretty nice and thin. But the nice thing and what I like about it, it's not a flimsy packaging at all. On the back, it gives you the breakdown of it being an 18 color eyeshadow collection. It also breaks down the ingredients for the color. So the colors are grouped together. So there are technically different finishes throughout the 18 colors colors and it gives you the breakdown of ingredients on the back. You do get 18 grams of shadow in each pan and then also this is a cruelty free palette. So I'm going to go ahead and do some quick swatches for you all and then we will jump into our demo. So today I'm not going to swatch these in order. I'm going to go down from the finish. So I'm going to break down these first two here, Tease and Crush. They're pretty much like a satin like finish. It's really creamy on the pickup and this is it on the back of the finger. So they're very nice like pale shades. I like these as highlighters. That's how I used them today. Um, mixing the two and then also emphasizing it with one of them. So that is the payoff on my arm right here. So here is Tease and then there's Crush. So going into these foil shades, I'm going to pick up Sparks, Adore, Infatuation, and Beauty. And then I'll get the other ones. <laughs> so right here is Sparks. Next up is Adore. Next up is Infatuation, and lastly, Beauty, right there. Those are so pretty. Now, when swatching these, I definitely feel the tech difference in texture for these more foil. They do have a, they're creamy, but they do have more texture to the shadow. Next up, I'm going to pick up Euphoria, and then also Love. This is it on the back of the finger. This is like such a pretty everyday color. Euphoria right here. And then love. So last up, we will be swatching the mattes from the palette. And let's just go ahead. We're going to start with a door or sorry, a mire. Let's go in with passion, flirt, and then blushing. It's a little hard to get swatches with my nails, but you know I'm not going to sacrifice my nails. So here we go with Admire. It's like kind of like that perfect transition shade, which is how I use it. There's Passion. 
and really pretty neutral. And as you see, it's like a gray, but it has like a warmer undertone, just ever so slightly. Next up is Flirt, so a really good hot pink, and then Blushing. Those have about the same payoff I expect on my skin tone with these two shades, by the way. So next up, I'm gonna pick up Koi, Seduction, Lust, and then Romance, and then we'll just be left literally with two. So right here is Koi, here's Seduction, Here's Lust, and here's Romance. The last two is going to be Jealousy and Heartbreak, and then we will swatch those. There. So there's Jealousy, and then Heartbreak. That is like a true black right there. So the one thing I'm noticing about swatching these, they do have a lot of pickup. It's not like a hard shadow to get out of the pan. Sometimes when you're more affordable palettes, I feel like you have to like kind of get that surface layer off and then you can get into the pigment, but not this because for instance, um, these colors here and then these, these are like my first time swatching them. I've played with this palette ever so slightly, but not truly in depth, like swatching each one. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the demonstration of how the shadows actually work on your eyelids and perform because swatches are beautiful, swatches are great, but performance is the true test of if a palette is worth any coin or not. Um, so I have a little sample of this NARS um, eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to go in with that really quickly across the lids. I just want something super neutral for a primer. Um, and that way we can see how well these pick up. Literally on the last leg of this, I'm the worst at buying eyeshadow primer. But this goes on super nice and thin. It's really a silky primer. Okay, so we're going to pick up this first shade Admire here with the Morphe M441 brush. I can't even say that. I was like looking at it, trying to like look at the fallout. But this is how much fallout you get with some of their mattes in this palette. Um, I'm not mad at it. You get quite a bit of pickup of pigment on the brush. And then all we're going to do is work this into the crease just to lay down a really nice transition. And it goes on like the pigmentation. So far is really nice. I definitely feel like this shadow formula grabs as soon as you put it on. It's not like you're having to go in and work in four layers to build up the intensity. I usually like to do two, but this is it with just the one. Next up, I'm going to grab Romance. This is just like a nice um, brick matte color. And I'm just going to define out the outer part of the crease with this and work that into the deeper set crease. I'm just going to pack it in like that and then push it up into the crease just a hair and blend it in. So again, this is just how it is with one go around with the shadow. And again, you can build up the intensity that you want, but I want you just to see how it looks with just one go. So I'm going to pick up a door, which is right here next. I'm just going for like a basic bronzy eye look. I just like to use this flat shader brush. Actually, my favorite is this one. It's from e.l.f. Super affordable. And I probably have like a few of them from Target. So this is like an up close of the pan. And this is how it grabs on the brush. So it grabs a lot like to me like a loose pigment almost. Because as you see, there's quite a bit of... Um, texture sitting on top of the bristles of the brush so I'm literally gonna have to pack it down a little bit like on a clean um, paper towel just to avoid so much fallout but let's see how this packs on I do feel some fallout like literally on my face but I do love the color you'll probably be able to see it more on this side but this is how the color is going on you do have to work at this color quite a bit, I'm not going to lie, like, for so much pickup, it's really just working like 
a loose pigment in my opinion but not even really because I feel like you still get the intensity going on to the lid so we're going to wet the brush see if that makes a difference and helps this um, color grab onto the brush a little more so we can pack it on and get the intensity that we want for the eyeshadow definitely goes on with more intensity okay that's really about all I can say about it. It has a lot of like sparkle flex to it. It doesn't have like that look that foil shadows have. But this is like the color that drew me in the most on this palette and I'm really having to work at it. That's annoying. Okay. This is as much as I really want to work with this color at this point. Um, I mean, it's not a bad look, but I definitely had to work to build up the intensity for this particular shade in the palette, unlike the other matte ones. So the next color I'm going to go into with is Crush right here. Um, Crush, again, I'm going to use just a flat shader brush. This definitely has what looks like a more satin texture and not that much pickup in the pan, just what I normally expect. That's how it looks on the back of the brush. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just pop it a little bit in here next to a door. And then I'll blend it down into it. I'm just patting it. Ooh. Now this I like. This texture of this one, I really actually like the way it's paying off when you apply it. I'm going to kind of cut my crease with this color too. On the inside part. So I'm going to go in with the color Tease right here. And just to pop a brow bone highlight and also the inner corner highlight. I'm using the Morphe. This one is the E36 brush. I love this for little detailing with highlighting um, for your shadow. Like it is a go-to every day. I'm also gonna mix a little bit of crush into this highlight, this brow bone. I think that would be really pretty and you know, make it like a little bit of a softer pink. Yep, I like her. I like her a lot up there. I'm just gonna take a clean, fluffy blending brush and just blend down this highbrow highlight because I don't want it to be like boom, coming through. I think that makes your makeup look a little cheesy so doing it like this is really nice and then you can go back in and apply just a teach more of your first transition color now for when i do it like this what i'm going to do is load up the brush and then tap off the excess because i don't want it to deposit so much that it takes away from the highlight you just want to be able to swish it in just to make everything marry really nicely together. So I don't want to leave my lower lash line hanging, so I'm going to define that out as well. So the first one I'm going to go back in with, of course, is Admire. We used it as our transition shade, and you can use it the same, just with like a fluffy pencil brush, um, and load that up as like a transition shade on the bottom, so then you can get some really nice definition on the outer corner. So you'll kind of see what I'm talking about as I'm working in the product. So I'm just going to Literally. So now I'm gonna go with just a little flat shader brush and grab Romance again, which was just that brick color that was the matte. And then I'm gonna grab the color Seduction and really put that right on the outer, outer corner. Now that I'm done with my shadows, let me hop off camera, finish getting this face together, and then I'll jump back on to talk about my final thoughts about the Aphrodite palette. All right, so now that we've done the application of the shadows on the eye, what are your thoughts about Aphrodite? Like, honestly, truly, 
let me know in the comments. Now, what I do like about this palette is the price point. I think it's really great for that this is $10 um, and the really beautiful color palette at that it's really great for beauties on a budget like myself i do love high-end makeup however i just don't always like i can't always justify like spending oodles and oodles on a palette and 65 for something like the hue of beauty that is really similar to the same color palette is just like okay girl okay girl has a student loan to pay um so ten dollars you really can't beat that however the one con i can really say that i just did not like is how much i had to work to apply a door i wanted it to look just how it does in the pan and go on just like that whereas other colors like admire um which other ones do we apply tease crush like those went on very easy so just the fact that i had to work with that one a little bit more i'm like okay like i get it it's foiled it has a lot going on but i don't want to have that same effort paying off on my lid so now the thing is during swatching those foiled ones went on really creamy again like the texture was really nice so again i wonder if it was a the tool maybe a synthetic brush would be a better way to apply um apply the foiled ones but i do say like spray those down so that intensity and it sticks together so you don't have to work like four times as hard and just probably like one to two times as hard if that makes sense <laughs> okay you guys so down to my final verdict if i think this is worth the coin or not nah, i actually do feel like it's worth the coin this performs uh, to my expectations for a ten dollar palette even though it does have that one kooky shade that i had to work at it wasn't something where i was like this is a complete utter waste of money you have really a nice variety of shades like i said 10 bucks you can also use my discount code love annie l-o-v-e-a-n-i and get 10 percent off of shopping on hush so thank you to hush for giving me a discount code that's like my first one hello coming up in the world and then if for you all who will use it thank you again for the support of that and i hope you enjoy those little perks um so yes worth the coin yes you can be a beauty on a budget. Why splurge when you can save and you'll get that same kind of feel that you do for the Huda Beauty palette. There are some other videos that I've seen out that compares this for people who do have that palette. So I will link um, them down below so you can check that out if you're really wanting a like the pure answer. Is this a dupe? I just cannot confidently say that because I don't have that palette and I would be totally wrong for saying yes i think they're similar in their color arrange um color palette that they use the arrangement is different but from what i see of looking at that palette and picture in this one they are very reminiscent of each other as always to my subscribers thank you for being a part of my youtube family if you're not subscribed hit that button come on do it support a girl and don't forget to hit the notifications so you know when i upload it is weekly content i don't have a set day but trust me i will get you a video and we will have a hangout session until the meantime thank you again to hush for helping a girl out sending her some cool products and i hope you all are enjoying this affordable makeup series that i'm working up and i will catch you in my next video bye